So in this in this vlog, I wanted to talk about why I think a lot of people in my situation are going to be incredibly bitter and angry. Now, I know that not every not every targeted person is going to feel that way, but I really think that it would be incredibly difficult to not feel that way because this is not supposed to happen. I think is the biggest. I think the biggest issue about this situation is that it's not supposed to happen. And I don't know if I've really covered covered this this you know the covered the topic in this way, but if you really think about it, this is not supposed to happen. It's that's that's a bigger deal than whether it's good or bad. Like we can accept that bad things happen to us as long as it makes sense. Because it's supposed to make sense. Like like if I lost my job for whatever reason, let's 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 kind of just talk about bad things that happen that make sense as opposed to bad things that happen that are supposed to happen ever. <laughs> and there's a difference because you can accept something bad that happens if it's supposed to happen or it makes sense that it happened. So it's not about whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. It's about whether it's supposed to happen or not supposed to happen. Like whether it's normal, like whether you're being treated like everybody else. So like, you know, you can, you can accept bad things that happen to you if it's fair or if it makes sense. But since this is unfair and it's not supposed to happen, you're going to be more bitter because you you were betrayed. It's like a betrayal of everything that society stands for. So society basically betrayed you. So you're going to take that more personally than just a series of unfortunate events that happened, but they all make sense. Like I could accept the fact that I was poor if it happened naturally. I could accept the fact that, you know, I was unattractive because that's just what happens. You know, people are born ugly. You know, you can accept bad things if it's normal. You can accept the fact that you were born in a bad neighborhood. You can accept these things. These are good things, but you understand that these things happen. These things happen. Like, you know, you lose your job, you, you were born poor, you're, you, you know, your mother was on drugs or something. Now, like, I get the fact that these are negative things, but these are things that are supposed to happen. We're not supposed to happen, but it's kind of like, well, these things happen and you got a roll. There was a roll of the dice and everybody has this roll of dice and, you know, you just you, you got the snake eyes and you know what I'm saying? So that is kind of how it's supposed to happen, I guess, because of just how things are. Things are just that's how things are. So like if i were just born poor and couldn't really achieve much i think i would have accepted that to give people an example like i wasn't really into academia the way a lot of people are like i wasn't gonna you know aspire to be a harvard graduate or something like that like i wasn't really gearing towards that so i had a regular job and it was not the great it wasn't a great job it was a really difficult job and it sucked but in my mind, I wasn't bitter about it because I was thinking, even though this is kind of like not great, the situation is not great, I get it. You know what I mean? Like I wasn't the type of person that was going to try and get into Harvard or build myself up to do that. And I accepted that. Like I accepted things even though they weren't great because it made sense. So it all made sense to me. So I wasn't really like emotional over it. But being terrorized by a bunch of freaks and stalkers, that was completely outside of the normal. Like that was not supposed to ever happen to anybody. So society pissed right in my mouth. Think about how you would feel if society pissed on you like that. Society said, we're going to do to you what has never been done to anybody, period. Imagine how personally you would take that. You would take that personally because it wasn't supposed to happen. And then after you proved that it did happen, nobody did anything about it. And I would actually go as far as to say, even in Jim Crow, the people would have been more at peace with Jim Crow because that was kind of like how things were. 
for colored people for all these hundreds of years. So colored people had kind of just not saying they want, didn't want to do anything about it, but they accepted it as normal. So I had to accept a situation that was not ever supposed to happen. And I think that's why targeted people are so completely pissed. Because this is not supposed to happen, ever. And I don't give one piss lick about whatever stupid ideology people have. I don't give a shit if they think they're doing God's work or whatever crazy shit they believe. You're not doing God's work. You're a fucking sociopath. I don't give a fuck what you're saying. God doesn't command people to be fucking crazy and antisocial to each other, so fuck you. But I'm not saying you're going to suggest that, but whatever the fuck these people are suggesting is, is complete bullshit. But going back to the point I want to make, this is not supposed to happen. That's why I am super pissed over it. That's why it took a long time for me to get over it. I can accept the bad things that happen if it was normal. Everybody else, when bad things happen, is normal. But with us, it's completely abnormal. So we are getting the worst deal you could give any human, period. Because the things that happen with us are not supposed to happen. To the point where no one is even acknowledging the fact that it is happening. That is how much... We are all in agreement that it's not supposed to happen. If it is it's to the point where we're all denying that it is happening as a society, you know you are being fucked right in your behind if it's like that. We're not even admitting that it is happening. We don't even want to admit that it, it can happen. So imagine how raw of a deal you're getting if it's that bad. That's why... When I wanna, I don't want to just use bring up Stephen Maddow as much because I know I kind of just keep bringing him up. But this, he literally, in his mind, he was like, he felt that he was being fucked over so badly that he just wanted to waste the motherfuckers. I mean, that's how badly he was being pissed on. And I think that, I think that like when you really look at it, the way a targeted person will look at it you can almost understand why he felt the need to take those sons of bitches out. Because it wasn't about bad things happening to him. It was about how society completely railroaded him. Like, society hit him with some shit that is not even supposed to be possible. <laughs> You're being hit with some shit that is not even supposed to even be fucking possible. How badly could you piss on somebody? In order for to make it, basically, you're basically just pissing on them as much as you can just piss on anybody. It's not, what you're doing, technically, is not even supposed to be possible. So that's pissing on someone pretty badly. And I think that he really got to the point where he just was like, if society's going to railroad me like that, I'm going to fuck around and have to waste a couple of people. That's why I don't consider him evil. I don't think that he handled it correctly. I think he just snapped and he lost his shit. At the same time no one is getting fucked over by people more than we are and I think he saw that and it was figuring well if society is going to railroad me like that I'm going to do something about it and he just it, he took it to like this extreme so as far as creeps stalking me society we as a society we agree that you're not supposed to stalk people so we agreed as a society that you're not supposed to stalk people except every unstable nut in this area it's like, I'm going to stalk people because I'm a creepy nut job. And I'm not going to feel bad about it. And I'm not going to feel like I'm doing something inappropriate. So, if, uh, if I knew of anyone who had a stalker, I would want to help that person. Or I would be telling that person, you need to do something about that. So, I don't think that that's unreasonable. And I got a gang of stalkers. A gang of them. And they're freaks. Because stalkers are mentally ill freaks. That's why they stalk people. And we're protecting them. And I'm like, they're mentally ill freaks. Because they're stalkers in the first place. Because normal people don't stalk people. Normal people don't stalk people. So they're already freaks. And we're, we're giving them this worth by protecting them. And I'm like, well, these people obviously are not stable mentally. And they're freaks. Because all stalkers are freaks. I mean, when you think about it, it's not normal to stalk people. So I was like, well, it's not normal to stalk people. So if they're stalking a complete stranger, then they're obviously a complete, they're a freak nut job. And why they're not being treated like that 
you know, society should be like you're an unstable freak. Fuck you. I mean, I don't even understand. Uh, what are they bringing to the table that may, that we should just be like, okay, you can just be a complete freak nut job and go out and fuck with people as much as you want. I just don't even understand this. Like, everything about this situation is fucking wrong. Like, this whole situation is just so fucked. And I think that after proving that it happened, and I, I talked about this more than once. I think I talked about this a couple times. After proving that society has failed me more than it could have possibly failed any human, period, for nothing to come out of that. And then we got these people coming into the United States talking about how great this country is. And I'm like, I could live in the middle of fucking nowhere as long as I have food and shelter and be better off than living in this fucking, this rat's nest. And I don't even know if these people are being paid to just say these good things about the United States or, you know, say to tell or try to convince everybody that they want to come in here. I was like, why the hell would you want to come in in this country? Like, this country is a fucking, is a shitstorm. Like, they have to force people to stay here. No one, I hate fucking living in this country. So there's just so much wrong about this whole situation. And I just kind of feel like I wanted to just bring it up again. Like, this situation, if you're a creepy fucking freak that wants to stall people, you better get your ass into some fucking therapy or get hooked on some fucking drugs. I don't give a shit about your fucking freak show faggot fucking bitch ass feelings you better get your shit together because i don't give a fuck dude you're not gonna be creeping on motherfuckers like some freak and acting like people have to be good with that shit because they really don't so that is literally about as real world as i can be outside of just the spiritual stuff you know me being spiritual or godly or whatever like if i wanted to just be direct like a regular person talking to a regular person. I'll probably come at it more like that, you know, not and I'm not homophobic, so you don't don't take this the slur, you know, seriously or whatever, but I wanted to just present this in a more human way so people maybe people can understand or relate to it better if I present it like this. Anyhow, with that said, let me go ahead and close.